Lights out at Television Centre for news. The final hour of broadcasting from here as the show goes on at our new home at Broadcasting House from one o'clock. Hello, good morning. David Cameron has contradicted Labour claims that a new deal on regulation of the press will be underpinned by law. He was speaking after Labour leader Ed Miliband and the Lib Dem leader Nick Clegg both welcomed the deal, which was struck in the early hours of today. It's planned that the new press regulator will be established by Royal Charter. A member of the Hacked Off campaign took part in the talks and have described it as a climb down by the Tories. It's now being reported that the final details of the deal will be discussed later today. Now, it is the last ever BBC News Channel programme to be broadcast from here, live from Television Centre. It will happen in just over half an hour. Then, from one o'clock this afternoon, all national BBC Television News will be based at the BBC's new headquarters, Broadcasting House in central London. Television Centre's iconic building made Wood Lane famous and was sold to developers last year. Well, our entertainment correspondent, Lizzie Mazimba, has been outside Television Centre throughout the morning. Television news has been coming from here since 1969 and of course since the advent in the late 1990s of the BBC News Channel or News 24 as it was known then. 24 hours a day, 365 days a year it's been pumping news out to people across the country. So at one o'clock when uh, those studios are finally full dark here it'll be the first time that's really happened in a very, very long time indeed. Many, many happy memories of course for the audience of what BBC News has been doing over the past few years. Of course, there will also have been times when BBC News itself has been making the news about 50 yards from where I'm standing over there. That's where uh, there was an explosion by a, a car bomb outside the BBC News Centre. People remember in 1988 uh, a group of women invading the news studio where Nicholas Witchell and Sue Lawley were presenting. And of course, probably most memorably of all, 1984, Michael Burke's news reports from Ethiopia in Africa. Those were the trigger for Band-Aid, followed by Live. So BBC News at the heart of those Rethian principles to inform the audience, something that's been happening here since 1969 and of course a crucial and central part of what the BBC sets out to do. Well, that, was, that, there. that was Lisa. Uh, <laughs> half an hour to go before we shut things down here. I'm and feeling a little sentimental, just a little. Just, just a bit, just a bit. It'll be no, no longer walking these corridors at six o'clock in the morning alone. A whole new <laughs> Enough about my private life. <laughs> <laughs> <Let's>, <laughs> we'll we'll uh, be bringing you, of course, uh, the last bit of news just before one o'clock, before we hand over to Broadcasting House and our colleagues who've moved over there to a rather smart, swanky new studio, which you'll get your first eye on in half an hour's time. I uh, just want to bring you some breaking news uh, just coming in from... James Landale, our deputy political editor, uh, who says that the Prime around 115,000 jobs across the United Kingdom. After 53 years of service, the BBC's iconic television centre in West London is now broadcasting its final ever te television news programme. In just under half an hour, the BBC News Channel and network news bulletins will start to come from brand new studios in central London. Sport now, and for a full roundup from the BBC Sports Centre, here's Damien. Yeah, we are now in the last few minutes that the BBC News Channel will be broadcast from here at the iconic television centre. From one o'clock this afternoon, all national BBC television news will be based at the BBC's new headquarters broadcasting house in central London. Television centre's building, shaped in the design of a question mark, was sold to developers last year. Well, the broadcaster Esther Ranson spoke to us from the stage door of television centre and she shared her memories of the building with us. I first started working here in 1966, before you were born or thought of. I was up on the sixth floor, I was a clerk, and I worked my way to researcher. We made satire programs from here, Saturday night, everything was happening here. And then gradually as life went on, that's life came from here. Uh, I have danced for Strictly here. I've done a consumer slot for BBC Breakfast News from here. I've worked on the election program from here. I cannot believe that this iconic building, I know it's a cliche, but you know, a building which is so recognizable around the world and which is so associated with fun and important information and 
If you want to know who your next government is, you tune in here and David Dimbleby is... In fact, David Dimbleby, whom I met the other day, has no idea where he's going to be next time round. In fact, he thinks nobody knows where the election is coming from. So it's all a bit of a shame. Children in need from here. That wonderful image, you know, and of uh, everything happening, the crowds coming in, people waiting outside. And do you know the funny thing about this place? Even now, every 10 minutes or so, there's a group of tourists who come through, fascinated by the magic of this building, being told about the two Ronnies and Abfab and all these other things. And now, and now what? Now well, what? Now what? Uh, it is a sad day for many people who've worked here for many years. Uh, no more getting lost, though. Don't you, you got lost. Uh, I spent a whole afternoon lost in the basement of Television Centre. As one of those work experience, I think it's one of those um, being sent off for a long wait or something, perhaps. But terrified to go back, having not even found the place I was headed for. It's fairly formidable for some of us, of course. We remember Blue Peter. Huge. We think of Valerie Singleton. And the first day, don't you remember your first day at Television Centre? I do. I found the studio here, and I've been lost ever since. <laughs> uh, we'll be back in just a moment. But first, let's catch up with the weather. It's an yeah. important week for weather. Absolutely. Stav, what's going on? Thanks, Simon, Sophie. Well, yeah. I must say it's been an absolute privilege for me to be the last person to present the final weather broadcast from Television Centre. Louise Lear, my colleague, will have the new weather from the new broadcasting house. So I hope you can join her. See you later. Stav, thank you very much indeed. Do stay with us. In a moment, we will be crossing to our new home at Broadcasting House to join Sophie Rayworth for the BBC News at One. So, much excitement here about the move, some sadness too. After nearly 45 years of broadcasting from Television Centre, BBC News is saying goodbye to this historic building. Well, once the home of programmes many of us grew up with, Blue Peter, Doctor Who, Top of the Pops, Monty Python's Flying Circus, and of course, Strictly Come Dancing, to name just a few. This is the last news broadcast from the building we know here as TVC. Oh, it's quite moving. As we prepare for a brand new start at Broadcasting House from Television Centre here in London, goodbye. <laughs>